Hello, welcome to another one of my videos on the subject of Brexit. Uh, today, I would just like to discuss why the European Union seemed to have really disliked, I mean, I think there could be a stronger word for that, uh, David Frost. And right, so let's get into the reasons. The first is that um, Frost was somebody who believed in Brexit. And in that sense, the EU would describe him as an ideologue. So as it were, somebody who wasn't um, pragmatic. Whereas on the EU's part, the idea it is, is that it's pragmatic and that ideology doesn't come into it, although that doesn't make some sense because the EU project has an ideology behind it. But they would say it's about being pragmatic for the reasons and trying to find a middle way rather than someone having a, a view about Brexit and therefore having an ideology that they're trying to um, pursue. In fact, I would say that from the EU's point of view, it was a lot easier uh, to have somebody other than uh, David Frost who was pragmatic and didn't believe in the project and therefore compromises would be a lot easier. The second bit would be that um, they clearly considered that he was competent or more than competent, a really um, good at his job because there are many things that the EU said about him, but none of them was about his abilities, just nothing about his abilities, just talking about, and in a sense, if they had issues about his ability, they would have said it. They would have said things like, oh, he came, he wasn't prepared. He doesn't understand this or that. There was certainly never any suggestion that he didn't understand um, aspects of what was being done in terms of what was being negotiated as regards the dealings between the two parties. I'm not saying that they're not people who perhaps at other times express Frost not understanding other things in relation to certain things, but certainly it's not been something that's been said about him directly. Um, by the EU. The third reason why they didn't like him is because he was a tough negotiator, uh, tough, seemingly uncompromising, and, um, and therefore was somebody who did not um, you know, seem to budge, um, especially in, in terms of dealing with the trade and cooperation agreement and the issues about the Northern Ireland Protocol that um, um, arose in 2021. So, you know, in that sense, again, I'll say that if he was somebody that wasn't tough or was weak, uh, they would have said that and they would have had um, no uh, respect for him. So, uh, I mean, it's clear that they have respect, some respect for him, but certainly did not like him, you know, certainly did not like him um, because of how, you know, as he where he dealt with them. And obviously the reason they didn't like him is because, um, as far as how the EU would want the negotiations to go, it just, as it were, uh, would not happen, did not happen in that particular way. So th that's what I would say, you know, as, as it were, uh, you know, another of the reasons. Uh, the other thing I would say, which is tied up, is that he was somebody who got them to do things that they didn't want to do. Didn't want to do, pushed, um, threatened, um, they would say, and the things they would say about him, but certainly um, um, somebody who pushed them in places that they didn't want to, go, they didn't want to go, and therefore, in that sense, they didn't, um, you know, like him at all. And so we have a situation whereby it's Liz Trust that has now um, taken over. I know she's made some noises today about being tough, but as I say with these things, it's always about the devils in the detail. It's about what it is that they're prepared, um, you know. Uh, to do. And from the EU's point of view, when Frost left, they sort of hoped that there would be a reset, that there would be somebody different, someone more pragmatic. And that's the word that keeps coming over and over again, pragmatic. And clearly, they didn't think that Frost was um, pragmatic. So, you know, these are the, uh, you know, some of the things that the EU didn't uh, like about him. Now, whether or not you think that uh, liking Frost or not is a good thing is a different matter. Um, the question would be whether or not, um, if they had liked him, whether or not you think that that would have resulted in perhaps the EU taking a different position in relation to other things. But as I said, what I think is apparent is that what Frost did was to push them in places that they didn't really want to go. 
And when you look at what the protocol, for example, the London Protocol, what the position was as at when Michael Go negotiated um, the implementation of the protocol, um, you know, in, in, at the end of 2020, and to where we are now with um, the EU's uh, papers, you know, they're quite thin on the ground papers in terms of resolution to the Northern Ireland Protocol, you see where the movement has come. So certainly it's pushed them in, it pushed them in places that they didn't want to go. So let's see where we, you know, what will happen in relation to the things that need to be done. I think at some level, both parties would certainly like to have um, a constructive way forward, but when there are serious contentious issues, it may be uh, more difficult. Also with Liz Trust, you have to then think about, presumably there will be a calculation about whether or not she will be one of the people that would stand to replace uh, Boris Johnson um, eventually. Uh, it depends on whether it's soon or later. Uh, and therefore her position in relation to um, that would be important if she wants to attract attention from both wings of the party. We know that she's somebody who did not vote for Brexit and certainly did not support it. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how she deals with that as opposed to Frost. And what are the comments that you make about her? At the moment, they're not saying anything, really. I guess they're waiting you know, to see what really happens and the detail and everything of the sort. Uh, but that's it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.